So we ended up using a little bit of trigonometry to set up the grid in the last video. What we're going to do in this video is learn the multiplication table for a 10 by 10 grid. Okay. And uh, the reason that I'm doing this video is because uh, someone uh, posted a comment requesting this video to be made. They actually wanted it to be a 12 by 12, but I think 10 by 10 is, is well, it's the one that I work with. It's the one that I um, get everyone to learn. Okay. The rest of it sort of flows. The 11, you know, 11 by 11, 12 by 12 grid sort of flows after this, right? And it becomes quite easy to calculate. Uh, to figure out what it is once you know your 10 by 10 grid uh, 10 by 10 multiplication grid and this is uh, you know I can't emphasize this enough I never thought about uh, making this video until the request was put in um, on of all the places I, I believe it was uh, the video the ASMR video where I was showing you my grandmother's backgammon board right but it is something that I ask all my students to know and most of the time I assume they know this multiplication table when I'm working with a student or a group of students if I find out that they don't you know they're struggling with the multiplication table what I end up doing is stopping everything like I put on the full brakes and we go back and I make sure they know the multiplication table okay and the way you're gonna learn this is we're gonna go through it right now but keep this in mind what you're going to do, what I'm going to ask you to do, what you need to do to learn this table is once we finish generating it, you're basically going to copy it down, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that copy that you have and you're going to try to generate it, you know, by memory or by understanding, really, because multiplication is just the expansion of addition, right? If you wanted to add 15 twos together you could either go two 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 plus 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 two. so you could write it out 15 times or we come up with a shorthand you know simpler way to do it we would go two times 15 right so multiplication is a way for us to do mathematics more easily right it's uh sort of a, uh sort of something a process that came up right that we need it because we're doing higher level mathematics. We're getting into more complicated stuff, right? A hundred times a hundred means a hundred plus a hundred a hundred times, right? You're not going to sit there and write out a hundred plus a hundred plus a hundred plus a hundred a hundred times. You're going to go 100 times 100, okay? That's the reason why you really need to know multiplication because it makes calculations easier, right? Now, keeping that in mind, this is the way you're going to quotation marks memorize this table or understand this table learn this table after we're done doing it you're going to take the copy that you have and you're going to generate it right by memory or by generating it by thinking about what they are right and you're going to have this one the original copy as a reference the next time you're going to generate it you're going to turn this original copy over and try to generate it by memory or generate it period right Wherever you, have, you get stuck, you have a problem, right? You don't know what it is, you can't calculate it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the original over and find out what it is, right? The third time you're gonna do it, you're gonna put the original away on one side. You're gonna take a blank piece of paper and you're gonna generate this thing from, you know, beginning all the way to the end, right? Without looking at the original, right? It doesn't make a difference how long it takes you. I'm not into speed here, right? You have to know how to do it if you can do it you know if it takes you a long time to do it, it doesn't make a difference all that means is it's in your brain and it's new to you right you're going to use this a lot it's going to be everywhere everywhere that you do mathematics so i'm not worried about you getting enough practice to do multiplication it's an understanding of you uh, sort of a you understanding how to generate it and what it means okay so to do the 10 by 10 multiplication table, what we need is the numbers here, right? What we're gonna do is go one to 10 down this way and one to 10 this way, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those things on there with post-it notes, okay? That way we have our grid set up with the proper axes, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these and should we do it in black or blue? Black 
or blue. I've got two different color pens here. Right. Uh, let's do the axes in uh, blue. Okay. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to ten twice. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these down here. comes out well enough one sure two right let's see if that's thick enough is that clear enough should we put on our glasses does you see I need to put on my glasses when you close up. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. One, two, three. We're going to go all the way to ten. Okay, cool. So we're going to go three, right? And then we're going to go four. Let's put these guys up right now. So we have our, I guess that's the Y axis, down to 10, right? The vertical. Now we need to go across. Right? Again, we need 1 to 10. So, 1. see that right I think so <laughs> yes you do 
Nice. Five. We're gonna grab the black pen and we're gonna fill this in, all right? And the way this works is, all we do is we match columns with rules and figure out what they are. Now, again, I, I mentioned this is, multiplication is an extension of addition. And we'll talk about how that's related to this when we're generating it, right? The one thing you have to really appreciate is that there's a total symmetry in the multiplication table, right? And the symmetry goes diagonally. So everything here, if you go on a diagonal line, oops, 45 degree diagonal line, right? Everything on this side repeats over here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, should we do the top or the bottom? Let's do, I usually do this side first. So let's do this side, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Do this and then do this up to where it's the same number multiplied by itself. So we're gonna go one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four. So we're doing the perfect squares right away. So we're gonna create the diagonal going across first. Okay. And this is again, this is something that the the perfect squares that you should know inside out, right? Super uh, super important, super powerful, and you end up using it a lot, right? So what we ask ourselves is, what's one times one? That's obvious, that's one. Okay. One times one is one. Now we could go one times all these numbers and just this column is gonna be all these guys just transposed over, right? Because one times anything is itself right wherever that thing was but we're going to do the diagonal first two times two and that's the way you read this right you go okay what do i want to multiply two by right i want to multiply two by i can multiply by one two i can multiply by anything this way right so we read the numbers this way we multiply them this way conversely we could read the numbers this way and multiply them by this way because multiplication is um, What's that thing called? Uh, there's a word for it where it doesn't make a difference which order you do it in. If you go two times three, it's the same thing as three times two, right? I should have looked this up. I forget what the term is for it, right? So what we're gonna do is do the diagonal first. Two times two. It means two plus two, right? Two times two is four. We're gonna go three times three. Again, multiplication is an extension of addition, right? So what that really is, is three plus three plus three. Well, it's easier to go three times three, right? Three times three is nine. Four times four is 16. Five times five is 25. Six times Six is thirty six. Seven 
seven times seven, 49, right? Is that coming out well? I think so. Right, 49. And if you have a hard time doing these multiplications, remembering these multiplications, remember, we put out two videos using hand tricks to learn your multiplication table. One of them was for the nines, how you multiply the nines, which is really easy. And another one was a hand trick where you can multiply six, seven, eight, nine, ten with six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So when you get up into the higher numbers, if you have a hard time remembering this stuff, uh, there is a video out there uh, that I put out, you know, two videos showing you the trick for just using your hands to learn this multiplication table, right? Eight times eight, right? You connect those guys up, 64, right? Nine times nine is 81. Ten times ten is 100. So we got 81. And 100. Right? Now, the way it works is this side this line here, oops, how do we do this? This line here mirrors this, is the mirror line. So everything here boop, would flip over this way, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate the bottom part first, okay? One times anything is whatever the number is, right? So one times two is two, one times three is three, one times four is four. So all we've gotta do is just copy these numbers down here and that's what we're gonna do. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, right? That's easy enough. Right. We're down to a couple of sheets on this one. Let's grab a new stack. All right. Now, we could go one times two is two, right? But I don't wanna go on that side yet. I wanna generate these guys first, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go three times two. 3 times 2 is the same thing as 3 plus 3, right? So if we're going down this column, right? If we're going this way, all we're doing is we're adding 3 every time, right? So 3 times 2 is going to be 6. Three times three is nine, which basically means three plus three plus three, right? 
this is basically an arithmetic sequence, right? We haven't talked about this stuff. It's basically an arithmetic sequence, right? The next one would be 12. The next one would be 15. The next one would be 18, right? You're adding three every time on the rows. On the columns, you're adding whatever that guy is. Four plus two is six. The next one is going to be eight, right? Well, four times two is eight is the same thing as two times four. If we're multiplying, we're going to go four. We're going this way. You're adding four every time. Eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Keep on going, right? If you don't want to learn it initially as a multiplication, learn it initially as an addition, right? If you're going down a column, you're adding whatever the top of the column tells you to add. If you're going across a column, across a row, you're adding every jump is adding whatever this number is, right? That's all. The trick is to learn this whole thing and know how to, instead of starting from here to figure out what, uh, what are these numbers? Six, where is this? Six, uh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is, you don't want to go six times one is six and then add another six, 12, 18. You don't want to do that. You want to go directly from six times seven, right? You want to know exactly what that is without having to do every step, right? That means you've learned your multiplication table. To generate it, use the addition if you want, if it helps you out, but slowly learn how to jump around this table everywhere, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue with our rows here without crossing this over, okay? Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. Four times three means add four together three times, right? Four plus four is eight, plus four is 12. Four times four, 16. Adding four fours together, you get 16, right? Let's go to the fifth column, or the number five column. Let's put the posted notes here, right? Five times one was five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. Oops, 20. Actually, let's kill this. If I was doing this with the chalk, uh, uh, like the language of mathematics, I would have to go over it the way I'm doing it here. Uh, with post and it's easy, it just remove, replace, right? So this is 15, this is 20. Five times five is uh, 25, right? Six, six times two is 12. Let's put the post-it notes on. Little stickies up. Six times two is 12, six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30, right? And then six times six is 36, right? Let's do the whole thing. Let's do, let's do, uh, Seven. Okay. Seven times one, seven. Seven times two. 14, seven times three, 21, seven times four is 
add 7 to 21, you get 28. Right? 7 times 5, add 7 to 28, you get 35. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 sevens added together gives you 49. Right? Let's do the 8 column. Or eight row. Okay. Eight times two. 16, 8 times 3, 24, 8 times 4, 32, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, you just add 8 more to 40, right? 8 times 7 is 56 you add 8 to 48 right these ones are usually the ones that people have the hardest time with okay let's do the nine column or nine row right and for the nine rows uh, remember we had we learned that hand trick right where you hold up your hands and bend your finger over and figure out what you know what the single uh, digit single um, numbers are times nine right okay. so for nine we got nine times two is 18 nine times three is 27 nine times four is 36 nine times five right you hold down five you got 45 right 45 nine times six you add nine to this right so 54 right nine times seven is 63 nine times eight is 72 right nine times nine is 81 the 10 is easy. You just add zeros to the end of those numbers. The Desi system is amazing. I think it's called the Desi system anyway, but multiples of 10. Squeaky house, squeaky floor. that we're in right now um, is from 1915 right so it's a really old house solid house but squeaky okay so 10 multiply all those numbers by 10 it's just a zero added at the end of each one of those numbers right 10 times 20 no, 10 times 2 is 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90, right? That's the bottom half of the multiplication table, right? All that happens now, if you want to generate the other half, is you can just flip this to the other side, if you can visualize it anyway, because for multiplication, it, there's a word for it, that it doesn't make a difference if you go one number times another number or this number times that number the answer is the same right two times three is six three times two is six it's the same number right five times four is 20. four times five is 20. It doesn't make a difference so that's what happens that's why this thing mirrors this right so if we had five 
times 4, 5 times 4 is 20. Well, 4 times 5 is also 20, right? Four times five is also 20, All right? Let's see what else we got. Let's go eight times two. Eight times two is 16, right? Well, two times eight is 16. Two times eight is 16. Right? Pretty neat. 9 times 3 is 27. Well, 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 9 is 27. Right. Let's go for a number here. I don't know. Let's go 8 times 5 is 40. Well, 5 times 8 is 40. That's one random way you can generate a jump, right? The other way is you can just go across. Let's do the number three, the third row. Okay. Let's say you want to generate the third row. You can do the jumps if you want. You can do multiplication if you want, if you've memorized it, if you've learned it. Or you can go across on the rows and just add three to the number before it, right? Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. And 12 also appears here as well, right? 12 plus three is 15. Where's 15 appear? 15 is right there so what you end up having is the three row is going to be the same as the three column right <laughs> which is super neat right and if you go across the three row what's the number here after 15 three times six is 18 right three times six is 18 What's the next number here? Well, the next number here is 21. What's the next number? 24. What's the next number? 27. And the next number is 30. All right? Symmetry again, right? The rows are the same as the columns. If you go down, the numbers repeat, right? Again, it's a mirror. Let's go down. I don't know. Let's do the six. Okay, so let's lay it out. Put our sticky mark stickies here, the paper here, so we can write it on. Right. So what do we got? This is six, and this is six, right? So all I gotta do is copy these guys down. This is forty-two. This guy's 48. This guy's 54. This guy's 60. Right. Okay. Should we do the rest? Let's do. If you're practicing this, you should try to see if you can generate this, right?
the number eight column only has two missing gaps so or actually three missing gaps i guess but so let's fill this one up okay what do we got we want the eighth column so we can just go down to the eighth row right. well one times eight is eight that was easy after 24 between 24 and 40 between 24 and 40 is 32 that's what goes up here 32 between 48 and 64 between 48 and 64 is 56 56 so 7 times 8 is 56 that's the same thing as 8 times 7 is 56 right the one row is easiest whatever that was there it just plops down right two three four five six seven nine ten the tenth column is easy They're just going up by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay. Easy. Let's do the ninth column. Why not? It's got how many holes? One, two, three, four, five holes. We can fill this one up easy. The ninth column is the same thing as the ninth row, right? Nine times two is 18. That's the same thing as two times nine, 18. What else we got? After 27, we got 36 and then 45, right? 36, 45. We have 54 and we've got 63 and 72, right? So 63 and 72, right? Seven times nine is 63. Eight times nine is 72, right? You should be able to jump on all the numbers anywhere on this table. Let's fill in these four. This is the six call and we want after 18 24 30 right six times four is 24 four times six is 24 30 six times five five times six is equal to 30. all we got left is two let's do ones right what is that that's the seventh column let's go down the seventh row we got seven then we need 14 is between 7 and 21 
right? 721, that's got to be 14. After 21, we have two blanks, right? The seventh column, the seventh row. 21, 28, 35. 28, 35. As for 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. You just add 2 every time, right? 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Which also happens to be what the columns are, right? I think we have it all. Looks like it. Okay. Super important for you to know your multiplication table. Um, your ABCs of mathematics, right? But mathematics is pretty powerful compared to natural languages. So there's a few more uh, alphabets, letters, rudimentary stuff that you need to learn, such as moving around an equal sign, how to multiply and divide, how to add and subtract, how to deal with fractions, right? Exponents and radicals. But this is step number one to learn your multiplication table. I hope this helped, okay? Um, if you want to know how we set up this grid, uh, we use a little bit of trigonometry. That was a previous video. Uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take down all these numbers and I'm going to show you a little 10 by 10 math puzzle game that a student showed me a few years ago, a long time ago. And uh, I liked it. It was fun, uh, fun to do, fun to play. Uh, we just wanted to meditate and chill. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.